diphtheria toxin is an exotoxin it is made up of two subunits a subunit is the active subunit with catalytic activity b subunit is involved in binding this t domain is a part of b subunit diphtheria toxin enters the cell via receptor mediated endocytosis through clathrin coated pits once it enters inside the cell catalytic domain of this active subunit it acts on elongation factor 2 which is very important for protein synthesis the catalysis involves a very peculiar amino acid of ef2 that is a modified histidine which is known as diphthamide so this catalytic subunit it adds adp ribose from nad nad is the source of adp ribose so it attaches adp ribose to the diphthamide which is a modified histidine of ef2 so diphtheria toxin causes adp ribosylation of elongation factor 2 which inhibits the function of elongation factor 2 so protein synthesis is inhibited diphtheria toxin acts on eukaryotic cells remember it is not going to act on prokaryotes because protein synthesis is inhibited there will be cell death and necrosis which leads to other end dense gray pseudo membrane over the tonsils